the entrance antiphon. Come and show us your face, O Lord, who are seated upon the cherubim and will be saved. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to cause sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who sent your only begotten Son into this world to free the human race from its ancient enslavement, bestow on those who devoutly await him the grace of your compassion from on high, that we may attain the prize of true freedom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, Yes, O people in Zion who dwell at Jerusalem, you shall weep no more. He will surely be gracious to you at the sound of your cry. When he hears it, he will answer you. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet your teacher will not hide himself anymore, but your eyes shall see your teacher and your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, This is the way, walk in it, when you turn to the right or when you turn to the left. And he will give, you, give rain for the seed with which you sow the ground, and grain, the produce of the ground, which shall be rich and plenteous. In that day your flock will be given pasture, and the lamb will graze in open fields, and the oxen and the donkeys that till the ground will eat salted food, which has been winnowed with shovel and fork. And upon every lofty mountain and every high hill, there will be brooks running with water in the day of the great slaughter when the towers fall. Moreover, the light of the moon will be as the light of the sun, and the light of the sun will be sevenfold, as the light of seven days, in the day when the Lord binds up the hurt of his people and heals the wounds inflicted by his blow. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who wait for the Lord. Blessed are those who wait for the Lord. How good to sing psalms to our God. How pleasant to chant fitting praise. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. Blessed are those all those who, who wait for the Lord. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds. He counts out the number of the stars. He calls each one by his name. Blessed are those who wait for the Lord. Our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. 
The Lord lifts up the lowly. He casts down the wicked to the ground. Blessed are those who wait for the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is our judge. The Lord is our ruler. The Lord is our king. He will save us. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every infirmity. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Pray therefore the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. And he called to him his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast, to cast them out and to heal every disease and every infirmity. These twelve Jesus sent out, charging them, go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel and preach as you go saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand heal the sick raise the dead cleanse lepers cast out demons you receive without pay give without pay The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. The first book of Isaiah, which is called Proto Isaiah, from chapter 1 to chapter 39, is always very interesting in the sense that the prophet Isaiah, who is believed to be the true prophet, who came to prophesy and, and to the people of Israel, <clears throat> he's telling them to say they have to stick to the Lord. Now, he's telling them that they should not defile their religion, their way of worship. They should stick only to God. It is at the time when nations were seeking alliances, like nowadays we have seen in America is a strong in alliance to Israel. So they cannot oppose each other. You see what is happening at the United Nations in Security Council now. America comes and says, we are not in support of an immediate ceasefire. So that's what happens when you have an alliance. So Isaiah is trying to protect the kingdom, the, the, the southern kingdom, to say you should not go into any alliance with anyone, you should not partner with anyone, trust in the Lord. And he gives them very nice things that the Lord will do for them. Today, he's telling them what, that God is going to send the rain and you have all you need. He, he will take care of you. But you hear the word saying, walk in this way. Walk in this way. And when you walk in this way, whether you turn to the left or to the right, go in this way. Which way? 
the way of the Lord, the way of God, and he will not uh, abandon you. But as, you, as we know, later on, they didn't listen to the prophet Isaiah until they went into exile. That's what happens when we don't listen to the Lord, when we don't walk in his way, when we choose to walk in our own ways or in different ways, which is not good for the Lord. But when we walk in his way, then we stand a chance of being saved because we walk in his way, we listen to him, and he will send us and say, can you be the laborers in my vineyard, in my harvest, in different capacities? As Jesus looks today at the crowd and says, there are so many people who need the Lord. There are so many people who need to hear the word of God. There are so many people who need peace. There are so many people who need healing. But yet there are very few people to go there and give peace, give healing. There are so many people who are in anguish, but there are very few people who are giving them consolation. There are so many people who need prayer, but there are very few people who are praying for them because people are carried away with the world, with the things that keep them busy. So many people busy with him, fighting and disturbing and raping and abusing. So very few people to stop these acts. So many people falling in love with corruption and injustice, but very few people to do what? To promote a equality, to promote justice. So God perhaps is looking at us today, Jesus Christ is looking at us and say, here you are, look at the world, go out there and show this peace. As you choose to walk in my ways, Go and show other people also to walk in my ways. Let them know me, especially during this time of Advent, as people prepare for Christmas. Go and show them how to, to prepare for Christmas and how they have to come and celebrate Christmas. It's not by uh, indulging uh, ourselves in, in alcohol and the other things, and forgetting about the way of the Lord. Many people will start celebrating Christmas early. They will not even have time to go to church. Encourage them, go and worship the Lord who has, who has brought you this far. This is, is, this is our mission as Christians, as followers of Christ. But we who are leaders in the church, we who have positions in the church, we who are Christians, have been challenged by Jesus. I am giving you all this authority to heal, to cleanse, to do all this freely and make sure you give it freely. It's a very nice statement because it challenges especially we the priests and pastors and all these ministers who always feel like before the person comes, I have to put the consultation if you like a doctor. Hmm? It, it sound, it's so nice. Okay, before you come and see me at the camel of St. Joseph, uh, you need to drop a brown envelope. Hmm? So it's so nice. But Jesus is saying, freely I have given you this freely you must give it. Our faith, we have received it for free. And as we try to minister to people, we try to do as Jesus did, free. When we kneel on our knees and pray, 
we remember these words that Lord we are praying for the people because you gave us this faith faith. we also pray for our two in Australians who have come to join the camel of Saint Joseph pray that the Lord will send more to come and join the camel of Saint Joseph so that the mission of the Carmelites will continue. The mission of Christ will continue and will not die. That is our mission, all of us, to pray for our newly in postulants. So let us pray this morning, my dear friends, that Jesus will help us to walk in his way, in the way of the Lord, and that we will remain committed to his mission and be able to give freely as we have received freely. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. You become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of his name. For our Lord, and the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you and seeing me to complete what was begun in sacred mysteries and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, right, and just 
our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and, and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Amen, the Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, John Arnold, whom you have called from this world to yourself, 
and grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheres to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, what in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord. Be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
the body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. Of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Oh. Antiphone. Behold, I am coming soon, and my recompense is with me, says the Lord, to bestow a reward according to the deeds of each.
let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks and be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen.